Everywhere we look in western forests, we see the imprint of fire. And fire in these forests is as natural as wind and rain. So the big question now is, is the fire that we're seeing today like that fire of a thousand years ago? And we could read the tree rings to understand the exposure of trees to fire. You're, you're turning around and on the it's the areas that burn in high severity that we're really concerned about. Because those are the places where if all the vegetation has been killed and the soils have been damaged, there's really a question of whether that's going to even come back as forest. The big game changer for this is climate and in particular, the climate of the coming century. Not only is climate giving us the longer fire seasons that make these high severity fires bigger and more common, but it's a more challenging environment for trees to recover in. We could lose a very high percentage of forests in the entire Western North American continent. If all this is true, does this mean that the forests of the Southwest are doomed? I would say no. I think these forests are gonna go through a very stressful period, but I believe that they will survive, and here's why. Fire can actually have a beneficial effect and help the forest to maintain its balance. So if we have the right kind of fire on the landscape, not only is it an adverse effect, but it can actually be the key to adapting to future climate. Yes, climate is changing much more rapidly than we've ever seen due to natural causes alone. But it's also true that nature is tremendously adaptable and there's every reason to believe that other species will come and occupy those areas. The forest we see today may become established somewhere else and life will adapt.